Dungeon Defenders is an RPG tower defense. It starts off with the introduction of enemies called Evil Ones, causing stereotypical RPG mayhem to your nice little castle. In which case, your entire army of everyone but four children set off to go kill these Evil Ones, leaving the four preteens to manage the castle. But don't worry, these small children are also protected by magic crystal which stops the Dark Ones from attacking, or Evil Ones from attacking. Now fully fueled by a crap load of sugar that they have found in the kitchen, these preteens decide to do what any one of us would do in their situation and go absolutely bonkers playing ball in the house causes said magic crystal to go smashy smash and burst into a thousand pieces of strawberry goodness which attracts the evil ones to come and eat their delicious treat which results in these four preteens defending the entire castle by themselves in a constant onslaught of goblins, orcs and other nasties attacking in wave after wave. That's how you're thrown into it. The game itself plays very nicely with a quite rather entertaining combination of role-playing game, where you can level up your hero to a max level of 70, level up your pets and level up your weapons, with a tower defense game where you lay barricades, towers, traps and more to stop the nasties eating your delicious strawberry crystal. Now straight up you'll have a choice between four different characters. Let's start with a look at the squire. The squire is your basic tank with the sword and armor using massive barricades and ballistas to defend yourself. This character is pretty useless by himself and doesn't actually deal any real damage in a typical tank manner. The next character is the Apprentice, which is your main DPS. If you didn't know, is damage per second. Dressed in his Sunday best robes and hats, this, this not quite a wizard actually builds the actual towers in this game. With this, he can also build barricades. If you're going to play by yourself, play as him. He's obviously the best of the lot by himself, but hey, the others are good in combinations. After that, you have the monk, your pre-team bald healer character, who uses deployable auras in order to defeat his enemies. These auras are actually quite effective in doing damage and healing. And last of all, the character I picked, the Huntress. No, I didn't pick it because it's a girl. In all RPGs, I'm a ranger archer hunter. It's just what I like using. Despite for the fact that the Huntress isn't any older than 13, she already has full-size lady parts. She also enjoys dancing around like a stripper when she levels up. For this reason, most people are going to pick her. All you perv gamers anyway. But on the other hand, she is a good DPS using traps and dealing lots of damage over time. This couple with the tank is a winning combination. Be warned though, she is absolutely useless by herself. So if you don't have friends, don't pick her. But many of you will just disregard my previous comments and pick her because her lady parts are bigger than two bald monk heads strapped together. Lucky for me, when me and three other friends got this game, we all just happened to want to be different characters. So now we have one of each. It works very well. In conclusion, if you are considering getting this game, do it, but only if you have three people willing to play with you.